Hello and welcome Taurians. We are in your star sign until the 20th of May and you are watching your May 2022 general reading with myself Thomas Janak. You're watching Thomas's tarot page. Now, when we're in a sign, when we're in your sign, your energy goes a little bit further, so you have a bit of a bit of extra oomph, so to speak. Let's just see if this is reflected in the reading. This reading is slightly or loosely divided into three areas. Namely, we will look at your overall energy as it presents itself to you to your sign in the month of May, followed by your emotional core, see if love comes in or whatever has to do with, with emotional healing. We look at this before we then go into opportunities and opportunities for the most part are what sustains you financially. Okie dokie. I'm sure I can work one day. Don't push it over, Moll. Hmm? Don't push it over, sweetie. Hmm? Okay, just trying to record Torian's videos here. Hmm? Taurus. Anyway, <laughs> good girl. Let's have a look at your overall energy for the month of May 2022. Here we go. So, Toreans, you have the Jaguar and the Kid Fox as your overall energy for the month of May 2022. Now, what that means is that what the universe is saying to you, unless you are truly yourself, you will feel pretty much boxed in this month. This is not a month, especially since we are in your sign. This is not the month to show your true emotions, to show your, to your true strengths, um, to say what's on your mind. Really, really important in the month of May because <clears throat> you have the Kid Fox as the outgoing energy, which means unless you really, really, really are upfront about how you feel about things, the, um, the more you will feel restricted, if that makes sense, right? So, short and sweet, that was your overall energy for the month of May, for the, signs, for the sign of Taurus. Now, let's have a look at your emotional core. Good, good, girl. When it comes to your emotions, where are you? There you are. <laughs> I can't see a thing, Moll. When it comes to your emotional core this month, which is the month of May 2022, Toreans, you have the moose and the red-tailed, sorry, the red-headed woodpecker. What the guides are saying is, anything to do with... And the way I, I feel this is, the way the guides make me feel this is, this is not for those Toreans out there that have just started a relationship, right, or are just getting to know somebody. This is much more like, or feels much more like, um, directed towards someone who has been in a relationship, um, perhaps for quite some time, or who has given a partner a second chance, maybe started, um, the relationship for a second time, maybe had some clearing uh, communications and now the same old patterns creep up. So it is more for for those of you who are in a relationship. Mm, you came on. Oh, good girl. So you have the moose and the red-headed woodpecker. What that really means is the more relaxed you can be in a relationship, the less you need to expect express yourself or and or explain yourself the better your relationship will work in May. What that really means is you should be in a place in a relationship which is a love relationship here into a relationship we're not talking about work here <coughs> at all. <coughs> you should be you should be feeling confident and comfortable in that relationship that you're in so that it could just you know flow and you know you just run with it if that is not the case you have to understand that 
you're already getting this as a word of advice, which very much to me feels like a bit of a word of warning, right? So, in other words, or to cut a long story short, um, you will know whether or not this works. And when you feel like you need to explain a lot of things here, then that's clearly a sign that it is not uh, what fulfills you at this point in time. Okie dokie, that was your emotional core. Now let's have a look at opportunities as they come to you or present themselves to you in the months of May 2022. Now let's have a look. You have the scallop and the hawk. Opportunities will not likely be plentiful, but here's how this works. You have the scallop. The scallop is a revered beetle, right? As you can see this here. Scallop is a revered beetle, which can sort of, that's the symbolism, that can sort of lie dormant for quite some time. And only when you feel, that's actually what I want to do, should you spring into action. So you might be a person that gets a lot of offers, but you owe it to yourself to actually say like, okay, is this really what I want? So please, please, please don't make this about finances or, uh, or, or promises that you have had of other people that want to employ you, if that makes sense. <clears throat> or even when you're self-employed, um, if someone says, oh, you know, you're, I'm having this massive place and you can have a room here, right? Make sure before you say yes to a really, really golden opportunity, at least that's how your brain will probably read it, um, if this is truly at this point in time what you want, that sort of thing, because the outgoing energy for opportunities in the months of May for the signs of Taurus 2022 is the hawk. And the hawk is saying, use the, well, that's what the hawk does, he uses the upstrust of the air to glide, Go with the flow, really relax about things and use the energy of feeling uplifted by opportunity presenting themselves, right? Sometimes we're, we're in a really shitty place when it comes to work and so any opportunity feels better than the one we are actually uh, currently engaged in. But what the guides are saying is don't try to escape from something to go into something else, if that makes sense. That's not <clears throat> how this works. Because whatever lesson you have to learn or had to learn <clears throat> will follow you into the new job anyway, if there is indeed something that you need to learn about this. Right? So ultimately, this is for you out there that are thinking about changes. Because these opportunities, the way they show them here to me, are not about you know, um, should we move at this point in time? You know, where should we move to? There's nothing here, opportunistically speaking, that has to do with your regular life. This is really about what sustains me. And, and um, despite the maybe really, really positive outlook that it may bring, right? Assess it first and then decide whether or not you, based on your assessment, it is really for you. Anyway, Torians, that's all we got. That was your May 2022 general reading. Please like, subscribe and share. And I mean share, share widely because that allows me to grow the channel. And if you like my work, you can now buy me a coffee on buymeacoffee.com forward slash medium Thomas. That's buymeacoffee.com forward slash medium Thomas. See you all next month. Bye bye.